Okay, so my hidden toxin number two are fragrances. Artificial scent. So I had a client, um, she had a cough, and she was on inhalers, and she was taking codeine cough syrup. And she said, you know, I need help. This was going on for years. And she said, you know, the funny thing is that when I go to a hotel, I don't cough. And I'm like, hello, <laughs> there's something going on in your home. Like, there's got to be. You know, it just didn't make any other sense. So I, I came into her home, and I'm looking around, and I don't see anything in immediately. And then I walked into her bedroom, and she had, like, tons of scented candles. And I said, aha, you know, here's your culprit. And I could feel my, my throat was starting to itch. And she said, oh, no, you, you know. You can't take these away from me. These were expensive. They were gifts. I light them every night. They relax me. And I said, D you don't understand. The fragrance in these candles is impacting your respiratory system. When you see the word fragrance on a label, it can mean up to 100 different chemicals in there. So we had this little tug of war. I, I brought a bag, and I put the candles in, you know. And I said, just let's try this as an experiment just for a, a week, and let's see how you do. And so three days later, she called me up, and she said, my cough is gone. It's like, hello, yes. So um, some safe alternatives would be to, to use um, beeswax candles. And um, they're lovely. They, they, um, they smell great. They offer a lovely light. And um, one thing to look for, the wicks. Um, you want to look for, you know, have you seen those wicks that have little metal in them? That keeps the, uh, the candle burning longer. But guess what? That metal is lead. And so she had, when I looked up on her ceiling, I saw black soot up there. That's, that's lead deposits. That's going into her lungs, too. So you want to look for cotton wicks. So here's more uh, fragrances. Um, Air fresheners, I, you know, I, I hate going in these cabs that have the, the little pine trees. It's just, it's so unnecessary. Um, and the plug-ins, uh, they found, you know, um, children who live in homes that use air fresheners have much higher incidence of asthma and allergies. Um, exposures, even at low levels, are associated with migraines, asthma, breathing, respiratory difficulty, dermatitis, infant diarrhea, earache. I mean, these are, these are serious problems. And this is from the scientific journal uh, Building an Environment, their 2017 report. It's classified as, a haz as hazardous under U.S. federal law. Why is it still in our products? That's what I don't understand. So um, we just need to be really on top of these things. Unfortunately. Um, and then phthalates. Um, these are in air fresheners and dryer sheets, and um, it's been shown to lower IQ points in children of a pregnant, when a pregnant mom was exposed. So phthalates, they're found in, it, it prevents your nail polish from chipping, and it's found in mascara, for example. Um, we're being exposed, bombarded daily. You know, think about it. We, it creates a body burden. It creates a burden on our liver to be exposed to so many of these chemicals on a daily basis. And I haven't even gotten into the paint, the carpeting, you know, the, the, all the other things. This, this is just the stuff that we, that we have in our homes that is an easy switch. Um, here's some safe alternatives. You know, essential oils are great. Um, I love to put a little pot of um, cinnamon and uh, cloves and an orange peel and, and cook it. It makes your home smell delicious. And um, also the, the um, orange oil fragrance sprays, those are, those are pretty good. They're safe. So here's some other places uh, that have um, fragrances, these cleaners. And um, watch for scents in, in garbage bags. That was a big one. Boy, I made that mistake one, once. Never do that again to buy garbage bags that were scented. Um, it, it just gave me such a headache. Kitty litter, uh, baby wipes, and then feminine hygiene products. Gosh, when you think about you know, women using scented tampons, it's going 
into your internal organs and you know, the most sensitive area of your body and you're exposing yourself to these chemicals, it's, it's nuts. Thank you.